You are now listening on One Radio, the talk show podcast station, bringing you Let's Talk with open discussions, hot topics, as well as information. All information and resources are based on the opinions of the host unless otherwise noted. This podcast may contain some quotations, images, and or excerpts from copyrighted material. These uses fall well within the copyright doctrine of fair use. This is Let's Talk. I don't count likes, calories, or blessings. I don't dine with snakes or bite my tongue. It is what it is. I am what I am. I am your host, Tony Williams. Hi, this is Tony. You are now listening to Let's Talk. And today we're going to be talking about a couple of things. We've got two ex-cops that are accused. We're going to talk about what they're accused of. As well as black former Kraft Heinz workers and what happened with them. And we also have our BS of the day coming out of Texas. So let's begin. Is Let me ask you guys something. Do you, How do you feel about California? Do you think possibly maybe they're... You know, a bit on the racist side up there. Because a couple of our stories, that's where it's coming from. Now, the two ex-cops have been accused of spray painting a swastika, a swastika and a happy face on a towed vehicle. Now, why they would do that, who knows but them. They are now charged with vandalism. And it took more than a year after the police found a swastika spray painted on the vehicle at a California tow yard. Now, Christopher Tomzik, 29, and Cody Weldon, 28, allegedly drew the Nazi symbol on a rear seat as well as a happy face on the front passenger seat during a January 2020 investigation in Torrance, a city in the Los Angeles metro area. Now, the act took place when they responded to a call about theft, mail theft, from a building, which led to a vehicle that may have been used in the crime and had it towed. After car owner retrieved the car from the tow lot, discovered it and reported it to the police. With this slow investigation, even more disturbing incidents were uncovered, exposing 13 other officers, which have now been suspended. Now, as far as our two ex-cops, officers Tomzik and Weldon received slaps on the wrist with being charged each with one count of vandalism and conspiracy to commit vandalism. Now, here's my opinion on this. It is situations like this that cause distrust of police officers within the black communities, not only in California, but around the U.S. This situation is only adding to the list of systemic racism that has been around for years and further proves the African-American community's point. It is already cemented in the minds and hearts that some of some or most officers are not abiding by their oath that they took to protect and serve, but rather we the people are being physically and emotionally abused instead. Now, the worst part is that they are being paid and protected to do so. Where is the U.S. Hate Crime Act on this? I really think it should be used in all the cases of this taking place because, honestly, that's what it is. And maybe if they do something about it, things may get better. Now, moving along to the black former Kraft Heinz workers. Now, these workers faced racist and abuse and threats. Who wants to deal with that on their job? No one. Well, now there is a $30 million lawsuit against the company. 
saying that some of the staff drew swastikas, here we go with the swastikas again, on their lockers and that they were called the N-word. Now, the lawsuit states that when the former employees confronted management about the incidents, which they say took place between 2012 and 2018, they were told to keep their heads down and were also retaliated against. Anonymous notes were also placed in black employees' lockers, including one that read, quit or die, N-word. Non-black employees use the N-word and racist stereotypes in casual conversation as well. There was also denials of promotion as well as managers giving instructions not to investigate the death threats found in lockers, just in case it disgruntled other employees. Now, the food, the food manufacturer has a zero tolerance policy for discrimination or harassment of any kind. Now, they also stated that the allegations were several years old, and as soon as they were made aware, they took an extensive investigation, including cooperating with law enforcement to ensure that any behavior that violated their policies, if uncovered, was put to an end. Now, here's my opinion on that. This sounds like a very racial and hostile work environment. No one should have had to deal with this type of ignorant foolishness on the job or anywhere else. It further demonstrates the lack of intelligence, humanity, and proper business edit etiquette or ethics from the top to the bottom positions within the California Kraft Heinz dairy plant. Now, these last few stories, I will share the links of these on my social media. And now we will move on to BS of the day. Who the hell? What the hell? That's some bullshit. You big dummy. Bullshit of the day. BS of the day is out of Texas. Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick is in this segment for today. So what did he do? Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick said unvaccinated African Americans not lax coronavirus precautions in state like this are responsible for the surge in COVID-19 cases in his state. Yeah, okay, that's definitely BS. Now, African Americans who have had lower rates of vaccinations make up about 13% of the state population and about 16% of cases, while whites and Hispanics who make up more than 80% of the population have accounted for about 70% of cases. Now, this is according to statistics from the Texas Department of State Health Services. Now, Patrick, who had previously blamed undocumented in, uh, immigrants for the rising cases is now blaming African Americans instead of his and Governor Greg Abbott's politics and policies, who, by the way, has tested positive for COVID after being spotted at an unmasked social gathering. So my opinion on this part, this is definitely BS. Don't play the blame game take ownership. Not to mention, people do have free will and rights. So this has been your BS of the day. Damn! Who the hell? What the hell? That's some bullshit. You big dummy. Bullshit of the day. You have been listening to On One Radio, the talk show podcast station, bringing you Let's Talk. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my talk show. I wish you the best and don't allow anybody to fuck up your vibes. I've been your host, Tony Williams. For more, On One Radio is found on YouTube. The name over there is Tony On One. 
You can find On One Radio on Facebook. Podcasts are available on most of your favorite podcast sites and apps. And to get in contact, you can email on one radio talk at gmail.com.